Let's get close to the end, y'all. yesterday we're not painting doing the flow coat so it's dry I was waiting on it to dry so I can start unmasking it because I gotta do the in the fender wheels I'm gonna paint that satin black also part of the frame the part I could see I get to it down here, I'm gonna paint satin black, and I got the front and the fender wheels off. I'm gonna paint those as well, and I might go ahead and paint the inside of the lights because they're going satin black and the grill. Yeah, I might do that while I'm doing those areas. But let me unmask. I ain't gonna unmask this, the T top section because I'm gonna have to actually put some plastic over it because I don't want to overspray to get on it when I'm painting the inner fender wheel. So I'm just gonna take care of this part first. Well, I got the wheel wheels unmasked. Now I'm gonna mask up the whole entire car now. I also got to clean this dirt. It's a little dirt. When I pulled it in, it was wet outside. So I'm going to have to clean that up before I do anything. Just real on this side. But I'm going to leave the top as is, though. So I ain't got to rematch this. It's mainly the wheel wheel and the grill and the uh, headlight. show you what I got I done finished up masking the whole entire car off. even though I'm be cutting and buffing and I gotta sand it back down I'm just trying to keep that over spray down be less work on me once I start sanding it let me take you up front and show you what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna be painting the lights and the grill so I'm gonna have to cut a section out I probably just cut all that out at once because the grill and the lights are pretty close to each other. Finished up with the inner fender wheels. I got the back side in plastic, you just can't see it. Yeah, I can show it to you. It started raining on me outside, so I brought it on in. I ain't got too much room in here, so I had to put the uh, inner fender wheels on the T top area. Also, I'm about to use my vacuum and vacuum up these leaves and dirt. Then I wash everything down. And this front, I just got this front outline. I got to go back and do the edges. It's a lot cleaner than what it was. I'm finished up with all the masking. Let me show you this front. I use some fine line tape around the edges to get that corner. You want to make sure everything down good because if you don't the paint will bleed through 
Now we'll take a scotch break and scuff everything up. I got a maroon scotch break. I also got it's finer than the maroon. It's actually designed to go to scuff up clear. And the reason I have to scuff this up because it's been sitting too long. And the next paint it won't burn to it. I'm gonna scuff all this up. Also along the frame. Then I'll be ready to shoot my satin black. Sand and done. Now I take some wax and grease remover and wipe the surface down. Let me show you the paint I'll be using. It's by Eurocam. It's a satin black, satin gloss black. It mixes four to one to one, four part material, one part activator, one part reducer. I also be painting my washers. They came with the boat kit for the end of fender wells. This would be the gun I'd be spraying everything with. Set a manager at 4400B HVLP 1.2 tip.
Just finished spraying it. It's not dry yet. Once it dry, it'll turn, it'll flatten on out to setting. Before it dry completely, I'm gonna remove my masking. And then I install the inner fender wheels on. I mask the car and give you another look at it. Stop.